So John, how does one use QoS or NIOC for uh, any vSAN networking traffic? What would be your recommendation, sir? So I always, always recommend you turn and I, um, network IO control on, this is a, at its core, a traffic shaper. Um, this, this can do several things. So you can set limits, uh, which I recommend, um, almost never to use, um, because that basically artificially limits use of bandwidth, even when bandwidth is available. Um, you can set reservations, uh, which I would not recommend, um, just by default, just because when you set a recommendation of a system traffic class with like vSAN, it will, when that it's not using that reservation, it will yield it to vMotion or other management traffic classes, but it will never let virtual machines grab that bandwidth. Um, so you're still, again, artificially limiting performance even when it's there. And then there's a basically a system of applying shares and weights where if there is contention, it sets priority based on those shares and weights. Um, vSAN as a storage class should be set to a high um, share weight in regards to that. And there's some examples of this in, in tech pubs uh, within the docs.vmware.com platform. Um, but even if you just turn it on at the defaults, it's generally out of the box. It's going to help you with what you need. Um, do note that network IO control is not a replacement for more bandwidth. So if you, if all you have is, you know, a single 10 gig port and you're trying to push 40 gigs, you're still going to, you know, you're going to get back pressure and latency and things like that. Uh, there are other ways to prioritize traffic. So you can use network, uh, the network transport layers, uh, quality service techniques, uh, layer two, this is called class of service or COS. You can apply a tag there and you can tag vSAN traffic this way. This was COS was mostly used for VoIP back in the day. I don't see this as much these days, um, done, but it is an option. So you could tag say backup traffic to, you know, oblivion best effort class. You could drag. Uh, vSAN to AF31 or a higher traffic class to push through. Um, you can also, again, beyond uh, COS classes, as I started mentioning, uh, you can use uh, layer three uh, DSCP tags. Uh, do note again, for all of this to work, your switch, um, you're gonna have to talk to your networking team and make sure that they actually trust the tags coming off. The default behavior of most networking gear on the planet, as well as anything that talks to the internet, is to look at the tag, say that's interesting, strip it off and move on with life. So you actually have to have the networking gear trust it which is why I like NIO, network IO control because I check a box and the shaping's done at the edge. I have visibility and understanding of that. It's a lot simpler. Um, lastly, sometimes people will ask about impar, which is a, basically a method within the NIC of chopping the NIC into sub NICs and not necessarily multiple queues, kind of like what people will do um, uh, with some other techniques. This is actually just saying, okay, I've got a 10 gig NIC. I want five, two gig NICs. Um, this is kind of the worst of all worlds. You've added a, a configuration complexity into an environment and you're also hard limiting the maximum performance anything can use. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of NPAR. It's also just a corner case feature that's very rarely used in general, even outside of VMware in the server world. Um, outside of Blade, people generally people don't use this. And whenever you start using weird features that no one else uses in Nix, you are much more likely to hit weird firmware bugs. Uh, so this is just, again, it's a feature that at best limits performance, um, in theory can provide a little bit faster, noisy neighbor contention, but if you just slow everyone down, uh, that doesn't necessarily improve the, the end result. So my advice is turn on network control, check that box and don't overthink some of these other, um, configure uh, these other options. Yeah, really good advice. And it's funny that you brought up NPAR because uh, I have seen some cases uh, that were escalated that that it turned out to be the root cause of the issue. And they weren't even quite sure who said it or why it was set. So something you want to look at on those host configurations. Yeah, it's, it's generally people who are, we used to do this with blades back in the day to try to make FCOE work. And I'm just carrying this storage practice forward without really wondering why it was there. So um I'm sure there's a use case somewhere for it, but let's 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 keep it away from general vSphere storage in general.